right. Uh, now in, on your screen, what you are seeing is a female uh, pelvic scan, with this being the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder. This is the uterus in longitudinal section. This one, this area. And these are the bowels floating in a cytic fluid. This is the fluid. This is the ascitic fluid. So we are seeing the uterus through the ascitic fluid. This small yes, light black area is also fluid. Now this central central black slit like area is the endometrial canal. Number one. Number two, this uterus is postmenopausal as you can see the echogenicities along the uh, in the myometrium this these are the echogenicities. So this is a postmenopausal uterus in longitudinal section. Now there is an impression of a globular echogenic area at the uh, over the upper end of the uh, endometrial canal. This is the endometrial canal. There is seen fluid within it. And, uh, so what is this uh, global area? Shall we see? Let us magnify it and now see. Well, this is the area under study, this echogenic area. This one measuring approximately. 6.2 into 7.5 millimeters at the frontal region of the endometrial canal. This finding is most more consistent with the polyp in this uh, postmenopausal uterus. This region, the polyflower shape, irregularly outlined, no calcification in it seen. So it appears to be as a polyp in a postmenopausal uterus in on the curious section. What is the situation in transfer section? Again you can see that this equivalent area persists. This is the transfer section. And you can see the broad ligaments through this uh, patient with the sides, dependent with the sides as well. This is the right broad ligament. And uh, so anyways, this is uh, basically a study for a uh, solid non-shadowing, irregularly outlined polyflower shaped area where at the frontal region of the non-dilated postmenopausal uterus. This one. This is the endometrial canal, this is postmenopausal uterus, this is the urinary bladder, this is the ascitic fluid, these are the bowels, this is again fluid. Thank you.